<laughs> Wet roots. It's great when the uh, uphill climbs actually become fun. Like this climb here. So much water. Ah. Ah. Ah, it's almost dead. It's Sunday, uh, what is it, the 9th or 10th of December? Um, it is chucking down. Car park is quite empty today. We're on the uh, the old Raymond. The weather reports are indicating that this rain might go at half 11. But at least it's not icy like it was last weekend. So it's more grip on the trail. So let's get on with it. Hey, let's get on to the climb. Not the coming to the quite a technical descent here. Ooh. That is quite sketchy, you know. It's so wet and leaf covered. Well, it's done the first five kilometers beautifully. Got to get you still got to get used to the power. And screwed it and put it back on. So hopefully this might. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, Misting up. Here, yeah, just got to the top of the climb, trying to clear this lens. It is blowing a gale. It's very wet. It's one of those rides. Look, pants, but it's got to be done. Um, ride without the cap on. Start drying up a bit soon. It kind of feels like it is starting to dry up, but it's so windy. Get on the rocky valley. Oh. Looks 
looks like it's a painting. Oh yeah. Now they've got the Clod XL fender on the front. So oh, I can see some nice waterfalls up here. In the dry, it's just no problem. Oh, I'm at the highest point of Caval Trail. Got some descending to do. Let's get on it. Getting that lens clear, but there's no way. Oh, that was very wet. <laughs> the wind isn't blowing as much now, so feeling too bad the coldest part of me and my feet I think I'm gonna put the 2.5 Maxxis Mini and VHF on the front I think the front tire is just a little bit underpowered for me not as chunky as I'd like it to be so, very windy out here Right, and then got to keep my weight on the rear wheel. That is steep, you see. But whether or not I need to pop a bit more air in or take some more out. Tyres, I've got uh, the right sort of air in there. Now looking at the, the fork on the shock. Yeah, I've got a drop or two on this section. Oh, that was standing slippery there. Front wheel just slid in the mud. That happened to me last time, actually. Those on the joint triumphs. like and I've done the next section as well and there's more weight behind it as well. There's quite a big compression on one of uh, these drops on the next bit. I wonder where the fork riddler Human powered on that corner and it goes up. 
I'm human powered, I always stall then. The e-bike did exactly the same thing. Sometimes never change. Here and try and keep it back wheel friendly. I don't want to go into it too hard. This one. Oh, yeah. Put my nose down on it then. Let's see where the fork travel to. But yeah, it could definitely do with taking some air out. Powder house. Got enough air in the fall. It's also to do with keeping you upright, isn't it? Now I've gone for a small frame here, and um, I don't really want the fog to be bottoming out uh, on a on a drop or whatever. I'd rather the fog be more up in this travel. By the time you find the perfect setting, the forks are due for a service. With a bit of sun, amazing. And it's definitely stopped raining. Now I'm gonna take my hood off. Joint's finger. Here we go. Ooh, quite a tight switch button. Lovely. Now right, just getting up to the air streams. Conditions terrible. Windy. Not very nice. Uh, let's have a go. So oh, windy up here. Oh, really gonna have to take it steady. It's crazy. I need to expect to use a bit more air, so that's good. I'm happy that, that I've got it set up. 
correctly. Right, Ron, are we doing? The sun blasting me in the eyes as I was trying to go over some wet roots. Oh, and they're so wet. Very wet on this section. Oh, all these roots here. Let's slow it down a bit. I can't. Oh, I missed it. I'm not going to go back. <sighs> Too windy. Oh. The massive puddle on the right. to detritus it's a bit like a bowl of wet soaking winter mix you get out of here it's all rocky oh. completely wrong gear great when the uh, uphill climbs actually become fun like this climb here Take a picture. I need to get my phone. Let's get the phone. I switched off for coming on the corner and there is a tree down there this climb on a 70 newton meter yamaha motor oh all right at the top mad isn't it Wild ride. 
well before just the uh, momentum that this bike carries on something like this Pedal stroke kid. We're on Pucker. This is part of the climb. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to drop the saddle here. Hadley. <laughs> Guess if you know how to manual, they're not horrible. That's tight. <laughs> yeah. On an e-bike, this is a lot of work, but also a lot of fun. It's definitely not easy. Because you can feel the weight of the bike. And it's very up and down. Oh. Oh. Flip it around, drop. Oh. Tell you what, e piking does give you a bit of a, an upper arm workout, I'm finding, compared to my very nimble giant trance. muddy one um, let's have a look yeah uh, 
says it all, doesn't it? 17.9 miles, uh, two hours 11. So we'll uh, finish there. Bike in the car now. Oh, and I think about a proper clean when I get home. Uh, I didn't see a bike wash open down here. The thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so that was quite a sketchy ride. Um, really bad conditions up there. Very stormy. I'm wearing good waterproof clobber. Um, Troy jacket and the GV500 waterproof trousers with my feet, even with the waterproof socks. My feet are just, yeah. Um, I would have been better off putting some carrier bags on there, to be honest. McDonald's just up the road from Kum Khan. <laughs> Gotta do it. Yeah. Big cheesy, black coffee, and that's it. Um, yeah, 